Matthews uh, chapter 7. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And what shall, and what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdeth thou, though the, the mote that is in thy brother's eyes, that this, this descendants, descender, not uh, consider it, but not consider it, not the, the beam that is in thy own eyes. Or how will it thou say to thy brother, let me put, let me pull out thy mouth out of thy eyes. And behold, a beam is in thy own eyes. All right, read it again. Start from the top. Matthew 7 and 1. Gun. Judge not that ye be not judged. Because like I was saying earlier, us brothers don't do those things, uh, those wicked things uh, that's in the world. We get away from that so we can judge you. You see? That's why the brother read 1 Corinthians chapter 6. You see? We can judge you. According to the scriptures, go ahead. And this in the red, it's the Lord speaking. And if you don't understand who we talking about the Lord is, read uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, the first chapter. Go ahead. For with, for with what judgment ye judge, mm -hmm. ye shall be judged. And, what, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. So when people read that, they try to say, oh, you can't judge nobody. The Lord said you can't judge nobody. They don't understand the scriptures. Because long, I can judge you long as I'm not doing it. I can tell you what you what you gonna get punished for long as I'm not doing it. So I can judge you, stupid. Go ahead. And I gotta say it like that because I gotta say it like that because man, I, I, I'm, I'm getting tired of Israel, man. I'm getting tired of Israel. So that's the only way I can just tell you people straight up, they stupid. You see, that's why I say it like that. And that's why when you see a lot of them videos, I'm always saying Israel's stupid. The Lord said it. The Lord himself said it. He said these people in gross darkness. You see? Go ahead. Matthew 7, verse, verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote, the mote that is in my brother's eyes, but consider not the beam that is in thy own eyes. Yeah, so I can so I can judge. I got away from those things. I repented. I called on the name of the Most High His Son and got away from those things and believed according to the Scriptures and got away and not doing it. I once was. You see, but I got away from it. I repented. So if you don't repent, that's a death penalty on you because the grace period, the grace period gonna be over with when the Lord come back. You know? First, uh, yeah. This is First Thessalonians two and four. That's right. And then another thing, Salakia, Salakia. Uh, we all fell short of the glory. That's why we not a uh, 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 perfect. You see? So we all at once upon a time was off. But now it's time to come back to the fold. Time running short, man. The government, like I was saying earlier, man, the government ain't shut down. That's what they put on it. See, like I was saying about the shooting with that dude uh, that was speaking all them language. I don't even remember his name. That was two, three weeks ago. I don't even remember his name. But you know what I'm talking about. Just like they were showing you in the building. They show you what they want, want to show you. You see, that's propaganda. That's controlling you. Uh. Because if they would have did that outside in the public, they, they can't hide what they don't want you to see. You uh. see? They can't hide it. So of course they're going to show you that. To make you believe that, oh, yeah, we're telling you the truth. But it's all propaganda. The American media, Fox and CNN, lie. They propaganda. It's all mind control. It's all to control you and make you uh, 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 believe whatever they say. That's why they got them, uh, them news anchors on there so long. Because they like a so-called father figure and you are trusting what they say. That's why I ask you who a 
terrorists, you'll say Al Qaeda. You mind control. You don't know what's going on. The government, the main terrorists. That's the one took down uh, uh, the uh, 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 the World Trade Center. <laughs> people mind control, man. And then if I say, what did Assad do? Oh, he dropped bombs on them people. He ain't do that. He ain't do that. You see? But you people brain dead. You people don't know what's going on, man. You people don't watch alternative news stations, man. You don't know how to compare and research and check out things and examine. You don't know how to do it. It's not in your spirit to do it. So you're going to be mind controlled, believing in whatever you want to believe in, and get yourself killed. <laughs> God. First Thessalonians 2 and 4. God. But as we were allowed of the Most High to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God which with trieth our hearts. Mm -hmm. For neither at which any mind. For neither at any time use we flattering words as ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness. We are for our own gain. We're not out here for our own gain. You see? Even though we want to be delivered. You see? Because the most I gave us that penny. We want to be delivered. But we're not out here for money. And, and, and if you don't give us no money, uh, uh, we're not going to come out here and teach. We're not out here for that. We're in the spirit of the most side and the son in sincerity and truth. If you don't believe that, then you got a problem. Uh, you need to uh, pray to you need to pray to the most high and figure the problem out. Uh, it says, nor nor a cloak of covetous. How about some y'all shy as witness? Nor a man's mouth is Most high might have him fly smooth off the bridge with that man interrupting his word. Nor of men salt we glory yeah. neither of you nor yet of others oh yeah like like when people when people see us say oh they teach good oh they they uh, uh they speak so softly man i can listen to them we ain't we ain't looking for that we don't care that's why we so aggressive we ain't figured it out we in the spirit but even though you got brothers that speak softly and they come like that and you got other brothers that's aggressive both got different spirit every brother is not the same go ahead when we might have been border uh, burdensome burdensome as the apostles of yahweh shai masiach that's right but we were gentle among you even as a nurse nurse cherished her children yeah amongst amongst the brothers you see amongst the brothers i love to you brother you see and I love the rest of you brothers on the highway and the byway that teach the truth and sincerity. You might not, you might be like, oh, uh, for God's sake. <laughs> for God's sake, it's something else. But it's true, man. I love you brothers, man. <laughs> it says, so being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you not the gospel of the Most High only, but also our own souls because ye were dearly un dear unto us. That's right. All right. Oh, uh, uh, you know what I want. That's what first Corinthians uh, 4. Fool made a fool. Uh, uh, four. Uh, four. And I'm coming against us. Revelation. 
relations too. The 25. But that which ye have already hoped, already hope, hold fast till I come. Right. Which is this word. And which he, is what you've been taught. Okay? According to the scriptures. Not according to the world. Because the world gonna teach you lies. And you're not supposed to hold fast to that. You're supposed to get away from that. Go ahead. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him, I will give power over the nations. Mm -hmm. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. What's that power? Able to put them in slavery. You see? And he shall rule them with a rod of what? With a rod of iron. So, in the kingdom of heaven, it's for the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. And here it is in Revelation uh, 2 and 26. The heavenly father uh, is speaking through his son and telling you, look. Telling you, look. The ones who endure and keep his works is going to be ruling the kingdom out of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans with a rod of iron on you heathens. Uh. Meaning you other nations. You see, outside of Israel, anybody that's not an Israelite, you're going into slavery. It says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as a vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shiver. Hardcore bondage, man. We're going to destroy you people, man. Hardcore bondage, man. Hardcore bondage. Slavery is coming back in a major way. In a major way. You people going to eat the dirt. You heathens going to eat the dirt. Go ahead. Uh, Psalms 2 and... Let's see, 9. Go ahead. Thus said... Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them into pieces. Break.
spirit. First Thessalonians 1 and 10. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Yahweh Shai will deliver us from the wrath to come. He's going right. to deliver us from these uh, thermonuclear destruction. That's what he's going to deliver us from. The ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. When you read it, what you read about in uh, Second Peter's uh, 